Okay, this is a very short video. I'm gonna talk about um, OLED Motion Pro that has a new X series. In my case, I'm using the BX 55 inches. Um, I just got it yesterday. I'm in Mexico City, so these TVs are manufactured in Mexico. Um, so that's probably why I got it a little bit earlier. So let's start with them. Um, this is the off option. I'm using uh, Mario Maker 2. This is a 60 frames per second game. So right now it's off. As you can see if I walk in front of the toad, both toads actually, um, they get blurry, right? It's normal, it's the way OLED. OLED response time is so fast that this is some of the downsides of that. of that. So this is a 60 frames per second game. And despite of that, I still can see issues with um with the motion handling. So it doesn't look as clear as you would be using that an old CRT TV or a CRT monitor, right? Those handle the motion very good. Um, I went from Plasma to OLED back in 2016. I was in love with my Plasma, but uh, it was too hot, too big, so I had to let it go. And they were making those in 4K, I wanted 4K. Um, but anyway, let's try the options. So, sorry, the menu is in Spanish, but. Um, this is game mode. Juego. Uh, no. Thank you. Okay, I already up um, set the OLED light to 100. And just th th these settings are not correct. It's just to overcome the how dark is going to be with black frame insertion. So this is not calibrated at all. At all. So let's go to image options. And true motion. So right now it's off. Let's set it to user and this is low. Okay, let's see how it handles motion low. So I'm seeing the recording and I don't see any flicker yet to be being recorded. Like the black bars that I start running when you recorded an all CRT TV from a video camera. That effect is not happening at all. I still see blurring in the image. Uh, not blurring, it's dumb. Right now it's generating like a double image. So it's not very pleasing to watch. Medium. So as per a review um, I read recently about the CX black frame insertion in low it reduces the brightness by 25% medium to 40% and high is going to reduce it about 75% or 70% so it's slightly better I, I won't use this at all it, it just makes a double image so it's in game mode, so input lag with black frame insertion. As per I read about it, it was around 22 milliseconds compared to the 13 milliseconds that it usually runs. So it's not bad. 22 milliseconds is, is very good for any for most games, unless you are very competitive. So let's go for high, and immediately you are seeing the flickering. This is being recorded, so but. I don't see any, any, any double image, any stutter. The motion is very clear. It, it takes me back to CRT times, but the flicker is so. It, it can be. It can be distracting for some. It can be a no go for many people. I do like it, especially in this game. In, in this kind of game, I think 60 frames per second is is the minimum you need to. I think it runs like a hundred, a hundred and twenty hertz in this X series compared to sixty hertz in in the nine series, so it's better. 
is very very good. I love it in this type of game. So I would use it in this kind of game definitely. It's like I can see clearly. I can be moving. I still see clear the very 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 clear the the, the faces of the toads. So it's very very good. It's something I was trying to read about in reviews, previews, or anything. They seem they didn't pay much attention to this, they, they just said it's going to be improved I don't have the 9 series to compare it, or the 8 series, I think this was already implemented in the 8 series so... but yeah, this is a 60 frames per second game it works pretty well but it dims the image so much, so it depends on your, on your liking I do like it, I usually dim the image a lot anyway. I'm not a fan of traditional HDR. Dolby Vision is another thing. It's very good. Um, but yeah, let's move on to a lower frame rate game. Let's try the same thing because it's not going to work as well, unfortunately. I was hoping for low frame rate content to be better, but it's not the case. So. Let's try this with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, uh, uh. Really quick, let me change. Okay, um. Okay. Change the input here. Uh, PS4. All right. So let's see how the settings are currently right now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to use the switch controller still. Okay, I think right now it's off. Right now it's off. So you can see if I move it like this, it's not very clear. The motion is not being handled correctly. It's just a mess. I don't like it at all. But th th there's little things you can do in this case for low, low frame rate uh, content. So let's try setting this up. Two, 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 two. Alright, let's see how it's configured here. We are in HDR game mode. Anyway, compared to my B6, the, the HDR content is, is very handled here. It was excessively bright on, on the B6. I know it's a idea of HDR, but I feel like it was not being handled correctly, like for example subtitles in, in movies they were extremely bright and that's one of the first thing I noticed when I tested this it handles uh, like subtitles a lot way better so let's set it to user right now it's in automatic but now let's start from low I'm not a fan of low I don't see actually for me low is worst I don't like it for uh, this is a 30 frames per second game, so it's a very different story from what we just checked with Mario. So, let's switch it to medium. And this is medium. <laughs> it's terrible. Terrible, terrible. At least in, in this type of test I'm doing, right? So, I don't know if I'm just moving a little bit slower. I'm trying to move as low as I can. It is a double image, I don't like it. I don't have the explanation, I'm going to leave you some links in the description from ratings about this um, motion handling. They, they explain very good about these effects. So, they're more qualified than I am. I'm just testing, real life testing. 
especially for gamers. I was very interested because of the gaming uh, potential of this. But you see, I, I'm moving really slow, and you can see the double, the double like uh, on the background. Uh, the, it's, it's just generating double image. It's very very noticeable. It's not usable in high. So if you want, because with everything off is still bad. It is the same but blurrier. So there's an option if you want something better and you don't like the soap opera effect. I don't like it at all. But there's something that is is decent, I think. I have I cannot use it on game mode, I have to be out of game mode, so it's in cinema actually, it's on, um, uh, it looks, it still looks bad, so let me see what options it has enabled here, so yeah, it has a real, Oh, this soft gradation? I don't know what's the option in English. I was hoping this to work a little bit. Something like end cable, because it, it supposedly enhances image quality, but it doesn't do anything. So, actually, I'm gonna just turn it off. Um, so, yeah. Okay, the option that, that that works decently for this this type of game where you don't need a, a lot of um, a low input lag, you might get away with higher input lag. You see, it, it's better. This is the kind of result that I was expecting with a um, black frame insertion in, in a lower frame rate game. So. If you can live with the soul purple effect and um, all the artifacts it generates, which I can't, you can enable natural. Uh, it's very good, but I can't leave, look around uh, Cloud's head. All the artifacts that are being generated, that I can't live with that. Soft is even better for motion handling. This I don't know, this looks like a 60 frames per second game, or more, I don't know, it's very very clear, the motion, but again, I cannot live without artifacts being generated around cloud, so this is it, I'm gonna stop the video here, I hope you have enjoyed and found this useful, I was looking for for this kind of testing before buying any TV so I wanted to know if it was worth it to wait for the uh, for the X series rather than getting a, a 9 series <laughs> it was really cheap the 55 B9 it was $800 so I was gonna actually get that but then I saw the BX uh, the very good price $1100 eleven hundred dollars so it wasn't bad at all so I just went for this is going to have more support to the year and next year while the nine series are just going to forget about it like they do with all the other TVs it's probably the downside about uh, having an LG OLED TV I wish they were more supportive with that with updates but anyway this is a great TV, this is the best TV you can get to, to, to play games. In my case, the the CX series was double of the price, so it didn't make any sense to get the, the CX rather than the BX. So, I really recommend it from what I've been testing. It's really, really good. The colors are great. Um, I'm going to be using AutoCal, AutoCal um, from Display Portrait to calibrate this TV. Let's see how that goes. I just asked them about that today if they are going to support this. 
uh, next month the update is coming for, for, for the software so you will be able to use the LG Home Edition to auto calibrate your TV uh, for $150 I think is is good deal if you already have a color emitter so if you don't have you may have to invest a few more hundred uh, a couple of hundred do more dollars for that so but I already have a color emitter for my monitors I think it's a good investment in, in this case since it's very the, the colors in some of the modes are not very accurate out of the box I had to switch most of, of them to warm and that improved a lot but I, I still feel that the colors are not right so I'm going to be using that very soon anyway that's it for now thank you I hope you enjoyed and find this useful bye bye